one big mess. A dash of overreaction. The sky is falling, the sky is falling. Well, really, not really. Chicken Little, the game released in October 2005, is a one-to-one -one comparison type game where the game is direct playthrough of the movie. The game was released on PlayStation 2, PC, Nintendo DS, GameCube, Game Boy Advance, and Xbox. Based on the movie of the same name, which is based on the children's book called Henny Penny outside of the United States, and sometimes referred to as Chicken Lickin', uh, I guess, is a European folktale written by Vera Southgate. As a kid, I was not only a fan of the book, but loved the movie as well. While the Rotten Tomato score of Chicken Little Sydney at 47% is ridiculous, it was a good movie, same with Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. But this isn't about Rotten Tomato scores, this is about Chicken Little, the game, so let's start. Chicken Little, voiced by Zach Braff, who played JD on Scrubs, lends his voice to the game as well. Shut up, shut up, shut up, and shut up, okay? Who are you people to give me advice about anything? All you do is just bitch about your relationships all day long. One well, of the most underappreciated assets to any game is voice acting, and having the original cast lend their voices to the game as well makes it feel like you're playing the movie even more. Avalanche Studios, the developer behind the recent Hogwarts Legacy video game, when they couldn't get voice actors like Patrick Stewart and Don Knotts, the studio chose to use archive voices from the movie to still maintain the sound of the player playing through the movie. The music also matches the music from the movie, and playing through makes me wish Avalanche Studios made a Disney's Recess video game. It was a great show back in the day when I was growing up. The gameplay of Chicken Little is a platformer at heart, but something completely different for the better. Each level consists of its own style of play and objectives to complete. At one level, you're going full platform, looking for Chicken Little's baseball uniform, and another playing baseball, tapping the buttons as they scroll across the screen like a tap tap revolution game. The amount of variety is what made Chicken Little fun. There is slight, a uh, slight challenge. The biggest being when a female goose is chasing you down the hallway of a school as you jump over fallen lockers, avoid spills, avoid other kids in the hallway, and one slight slip up and the goose gets you. This was easily the part or slash level that took us the longest to beat. Overall, Chicken Little is a ton of fun, and even as an adult, it's the type of game you can shut your brain off and unwind while playing. The added cutscenes from the film really adds to playing through the movie experience. Uh, hey, Dad. <clears throat> I was thinking, yeah, what if I, um, what if, uh, what if I joined the baseball team? Ah! Hey, why don't you watch where you're going? Oh, sorry, Dad, buddy. Sorry. I'm giving Chicken Little a solid first impression score of four out of five and would finish the game out. Now I'm going to pass it off to Rocky to have him give you his thoughts on Chicken Little. Chicken Little is a GameCube game that I played when I was pretty young. I don't remember how far I got, but I'm pretty sure I didn't get far, and particularly because I do remember having a lot of trouble with this one long hallway scene that we did end up playing already in the game. Throughout our experience, it was a lot of fun playing Chicken Little. You'd get us all sorts of different style of uh, levels and whatnot, and different types of gameplay. Everything from driving cars, to having to escape people, to playing dodgeball. It really feels almost like a Mario Party level of mashing up different types of gameplay styles. And it also has, of course, all of the typical platformer aspects, making it so that you have to go gather various collectibles, or items in order to increase your lives and just make it through the various different story aspects of the game. For example, one of the things you have to do is collect enough coins in order to buy a soda, and then that soda you use to propel yourself like a rocket up into the classroom. Throughout the game, you play the events within the film, and the film is actually interspersed throughout after each different new level. Hey everyone, listen up! I don't want to hear any quacks, tweets, oinks, whinnies, or cockly doodle doos when I say dodgeball. <laughs> pump it up, pump it, pump it, pump it. Split into two teams popular versus unpopular. Coach, uh, shouldn't we review safety guidelines? Sure. Hit the pig, kids. <laughs> Good morning. 
Scum in the crosswalk. You won this round. You're I haven't seen the Chicken Little movie in a while. Apparently, it's far less liked or loved than I thought it was. However, this was a fun way to get some of that nostalgia from it, as well as just watch the movie again via the game. Typically, I don't really like when games do that from this era because they seem to be very disjointed and jarring. However, Chicken Little did a really good job of very easily flowing between the two of like the animated cutscenes and the actual gameplay. On top of that, the various different levels were designed in a way that actually seemingly inspired the player to go and look around new areas, especially considering the area where you have to gather all the coins to buy the soda is really kind of like split up into a couple different areas, and if you miss any of the posts that you can climb, then you're just gonna miss an entire area that you need to get to in order to gather more coins. And that's all we've really played so far that I can comment on. It's it's really fun thus far and really varied in its content and I definitely think this is one that we're gonna continue to play and so far I would have to give it a 3.25 out of 4 stars considering I like the way that it doesn't feel disjointed I like the different levels and gameplay mechanics and it is just created in such a way that really brings back that good nostalgia but also provides good fun on the back end all right back over to you Jason Thank you, Rocky, and now we want to hear from you. Have you played Chicken Little? If you have, leave a like and let us know about your experience with the game in the comments down below. Also down below, you'll find the description where me and my brother Rocky's all other socials are located, as well as a link to our main channel, Smoking Sessions, where we do movie reviews, watch-alongs, and all sorts of content that we're sure you'll enjoy. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on videos like this from us in the future. Thank you so much for watching and or listening to this video, and we will see you all in the next gaming session.